All right, so say you have a 1958 to 1964 Ford tractor with a selecto speed, but it's not shifting properly, you don't like it, it's broken, whatever, and you want to convert over to a geared transmission, but you have no idea where to even start. Well, I'm going to show you in this video what parts you're going to need to get it done. And it's quite a bit of parts and some little stuff that you might not think about. So, for starters, let's look at the Selecto Speed setup. Okay, so here's our Selecto Speed transmission. Now, I'm not going to go into you know, why you'd want to change it or not. Me personally, I just don't like how it jerks. You may have another reason. But obviously the big part that you're going to need is your transmission. And yeah, you can choose either a 4-speed, 5-speed, or 5-speed with a live PTO. It's up to you, whatever you'd like, whatever you can find. Well, the next thing you're going to want is a left side running board. And I'll tell you why here in a few minutes. Next thing you're going to need is something to hook your new transmission to your engine. This is the Selecto Speed flywheel and clutch setup. The dash you can change if you want. Next thing you're going to need is a PTO shifter since a Selecto Speed is up on the dash and you'll no longer have that option. Speaking of the PTO, you're going to have to change the PTO shaft. And I have a pinion gear sitting there, and I'll explain that here in a second, too. Now, as for me, I'm changing mine over to a 5-speed with a live PTO. And there's a couple reasons I did this. One being I have an H61, and I really like that transmission. The second being I was able to get this transmission and a new clutch. Pretty cheap, actually. Because that clutch has been sitting on the shelf for quite a few years and I got it for almost half price. So everything just happened to magically fall into place. But you will need a new clutch and a new flywheel. Like I say, dash is optional. You will need the running board, your PTO shifter, and then the PTO shaft. Now these other parts here are your brake lock setup. You may or may not need those. My tractor being a 4000 row crop selecto speed didn't have parking brakes. So I had to buy a set. I would highly recommend you do that. Because a selecto speed has a park gear, but a geared transmission doesn't. So if you hop off the tractor and leave it out of gear, it might roll away on you might not be a good result and of course there's our pinion gear okay so now I got each part side by side so I can explain why you need these parts well, first off I'm gonna start with the clutch and the flywheel clutches are pretty obvious to tell why you can't use one or the other flywheels a little harder to tell now the reason you need a different clutch and flywheel is simply because of our input shafts. This is the one off of the 5 speed with live PTO. This is actually your input shaft. This is your PTO shaft. And then there's our little shaft on our selecto speed. So as you can see, they're different. So you can't use the same clutch. Well, different clutch, different flywheel. Okay, next up is the dashboards. Steering column cover, whatever you want to call them. The only difference here is the Selecto Speed one on the left has the big cutout for the Selecto Speed shifter. They have the exact same holes and everything in them. So it's more cosmetic more than anything. You can weld a plate over it, bolt a plate to it, or just swap them. Which me, I'm swapping it. Okay, next up is our running boards. They look similar, but they're pretty different especially the left sides the two right side boards which are this one and this one are actually the same the difference is the front mounting bracket 
But on a selecto speed, which, hang on, I'll show you. On the selecto speed, right here is where a running board would typically mount. However, due to this little guy right here, you cannot run the bracket because the bracket would be flat and then come over. So instead, Ford made this little boss down here, right there, to bolt the front running board to. So, board is the same, you just have to change the bracket because this is only on the selecto speed. And there's the proof of it. The running board will mount right there on that little triangle. And if you're wondering, yes, that is where a radius rod would go. However, since both of these are off of row crop tractors, there is no socket there for the rod. Yes, the socket just bolts on, but there's short studs on the new transmission and nothing on the selecto speed. And there's a look at the two brackets side by side. Now the left side running boards, this guy, this guy, are entirely different. For one, we have the bracket issue just like we did on the passenger side. However, the Selecto Speed one does not have a provision in it for the clutch rod to go through. And I actually think it's a little shorter, but that might just be me. Our PTO shifter and non-PTO shifter, sort of the Selecto Speed. Which is a cool trick that I didn't know about the Selecto Speed when I bought it. it has that little arm right here well if you need to push the tractor you can't just put it in neutral you actually have to turn this little knob which then will move a collar between your pinion gear and your transmission to actually disable it our PTO shifter one just has a shifter on the back here's the two PTO shafts side by side now the Selecto speed one is a little shorter. However, it has this collar on it. This collar goes on the end of the transmission and splines between your PTO and your PTO output shafts. But as you can see, if I line them back up properly, <laughs> Both of our mounting flanges and our seal surface and bushing surfaces line up. So there's two different PTO shafts. So just keep that in mind if you ever need to buy one. And be sure you get the one for right transmission. Whether it's whether it's a geared transmission or a selecto speed transmission. Okay, now here we see the rear of the transmissions. Now this is where stuff gets a little blurry and people get confused on this. As you can see, we have two different splines here. And then these two are PTOs, which I already discussed showing you the shafts. These two, which are our drive shafts, is where people get confused and mess up. All selecto speeds have this fine spline output shaft. Your pinion gear will also have this if you have a selecto speed. And some of your later model gear tractors will have this as well instead of the coarse spline. So we have this shift coupler here, which is what disconnects our drive line using the little shifter plate right here to take it in and out of gear so you can move your tractor. On our five speed, we just have a coupler. I actually think they refer to that as the drive shaft. And on this output shaft for your, ten, for your five speed transmission,
this part will come out now if you can find the output shaft with the 23 spline end on it from where they did that production change run this is all you're going to need is this and your coupler in 23 spline but that's if you can find one since i was unable to I have to change the rear pinion gear both of these pinions are identical with the exception of the spline count 23 spline is what was in the tractor, which matches our selecto speed. The 10 spline will match our 5 speed. Well, since these two are identical, all I have to do is swap them over. But, with that being said, you need to make sure that you get the correct one for your tractor. Because the hundreds or the eight hundreds have a bigger ring and pinion in them than the six hundreds, and I'm not sure on the row crop. I almost want to say the row crop has a six hundred ring and pinion, but I'm not sure. So don't quote me on that. So just try to find one similar to your tractor. Like I say, mine was a four thousand row crop. This transmission can come out of any hundred series tractor. Mine just lucky ended up coming out of a 961 diesel, which is basically the same tractor I have. And my pinion come out of a 960, which would be a gas motor, but it's still a row crop. And of course, it will spline in. So that's pretty much all the parts that you're going to need. Now, your wiring harness will be a little different. It's pretty easy to rectify fit that no issue it's just wires entry pedal and your clutch pedal are different so be sure you get that with your transmission same with your shifter make sure you get a shifter but that's pretty much all there is to these things and as I go through rebuilding my tractor and putting it back together I will try to comment on when I'm changing something that is a selective speed part versus the geared part So you just have to watch all the other videos for that <laughs> but that's it for this video hopefully you figured out some stuff that you need if you need any more help hit me up i'll see if i can help you out and thanks for watching